Hi, today I'm going to do a kind of plummy makeup look because it's autumn here and there are lots of really beautiful new colours coming into the studio, lots of aubergines and plums and just really rich and gorgeous shades. So I thought I'd just have a play really and I'm um, not really sure exactly what I'm going to do but we'll see what happens. We use lots of these lovely new colours. So I'm going to start by doing my base. I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix because... Um, it's kind of still warm here, I don't want a really heavy base um, and I want something that's a little bit dewy. So I'm going to put a thin layer of this all over. I have a ton of lumps and bumps and things at the moment. Some spots, some old spots that have left marks over the summer. So I'm going to need to do quite a good conceal after I've used this foundation. So just applying it quite thinly and then I can cover everything else with concealer. So on to concealing and because I've used a foundation which is one shade darker than I usually do because I have got a little bit of colour at the moment I'm going to use my secret camouflage but it's in one shade darker than usual this is the number four so I need to mix the two shades um, and just cover some of my marks actually they're more marks than anything else you only get those spots I got that one right at the beginning of the summer and then I kind of kept it covered, obviously with lots of um, screen, sunscreen, but it just managed to catch a few rays and now it's turned into a little pigmentation spot, but I'm fairly confident if I keep it covered, it'll fade in probably in another month though. It's annoying. And then I've got lots of bumps here, which I'll need to conceal. So I'm just going to take my time and really cover. I think the secret, as we know, is getting the right colour and something that really covers something with good consistency. So you can use a small brush and really home in on those marks or spots. And make sure you blend really well afterwards. Blend those edges. And then under my eyes, I'm going to use my old favourite Clinique Airbrush Concealer. Why change the habit of a lifetime? That's what I say. This is number four. Just going to smooth that in with a brush. Because the uh, eyes are going to be a little bit dark, it's good that you really lift those shadows underneath. Next I'm going to use the Belmine Powder by Chanel in number 10. I'm not going to open this because this has been in my makeup bag all summer and it looks really grotty and not very nice. I've been using number 10 all summer. What I've been using it for, it's like a powder but with coverage and I've just been concealing and then using it on top and it really evens everything out. So I'm using from Chanel I'd be about a number 30 I think foundation now and I find number 10 in this is fine. So I'm just going to go all over, just using it to mattify but also to get a little bit of extra coverage around my spotty areas, mainly my chin really, a little bit around my mouth. Just kind of setting everything. So on my eyes I'm going to use the Kiko Twist Up Eyeshadow Pencil and this palette by L'Oreal, just the sort of pruney, plummy shade. Because this, these pencils are so long lasting, they're quite sort of tough to put on, they don't move very much. So I kind of think if you want to create more of a shadowy effect, really good if you want to just do a messy liner. But I would put it onto um, a brush first and then kind of buff it because you can see it's really, really intense. Colour payoff is huge. And by putting it onto the brush first, you can just kind of build up a little bit more. It's a little bit softer. So if you make any mistakes or, you know, you're not really sure about the blending, you can at least build up slowly. So now I'm going to use the plum shade from the L'Oreal palette and use that to smooth out. And that Kiko stain underneath is really going to not go anywhere. It really, really sets that stuff. If you do apply it straight from the um, crayon onto your eyes, you have to really kind of get it into the shape you want because once it's set, you need oil to take it off. It's really, really indelible. So I'm just using quite a big brush here just to soften those edges and smoke it out a little bit. Then using the same 
pencil underneath but I'm just going to put a couple of dots and buff in and then the same on the other side just a few dots and buff now because this is getting quite dark on my eyes I was going to use something that's a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit metallic as a liner just to lift everything I'm going to use the copper sparkles by MAC but you could use any sort of bronzy or coppery eyeshadow that you have I'm just going to use that right at the lash line and just kind of work it across see it just starts to lift the kind of depth and once you've got mascara on obviously it'll just lift everything and just keep working it building it up I think it's a really nice um, contrast against the the depth of the plum. And if you prefer more of a goldy bronze then go for that. So now I need lots of mascara. I don't need to curl my eyelashes because I had an eyelash lift before I went on holiday and um, so they're still sticking up there although a couple of them are just starting to go now. That tends to be what happens after about four weeks, five weeks, a couple of them start to straighten down. So straighten with mascara, I'm going to use the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. I haven't actually used this before, but I read that it's really kind of gives quite a full on dramatic lashes. So I just want to have a little go of that. I kind of think because you've got that lovely liquidy copper line, it would be nice to have some really black lashes. The mascara is really, really dramatic, as you can see. It is a little bit wet. Um, I like that, personally. Although I have had my eyelashes chemically lifted, so um, if maybe I hadn't had that done and I was using eyelash curlers, maybe the, the wetness would have made them droop. I don't know. But certainly, in terms of instant payoff and drama-rama, um, I think they look amazing and I would definitely use that mascara again if I wanted a really dramatic effect quickly. So for brows I'm going to use a little bit of just powder I think. I'm going to do quite strong lips so um, I don't want strong brows as well. And then what's left on the brush I'll just use at the inner corner so they stay soft. So for lips, again, I'm going to go for the full plum this time. And this is a new pencil by Maybelline, which I thought had an amazing colour. Fairly strongly pigmented, so go slowly. A little bit like the eyes with the stain, add bit by bit. Because it's a, a pencil, you can start to shape and then use fingers just to pat. So you can create that really lovely berry stain effect. You'll notice that instantly your skin looks really, really drained. So blusher is going to be essential, but we'll come to that in a second. And then any little adjustments, you can make them as you go along. And just keep it really soft. Just like you've eaten berries. Once you've got a good stain on, you can use your little um, concealer if you feel like you've gone too far. Then you can just add a little bit more. So you might want to add more all over or I quite like just adding more sort of in the centre. So it really does look like a proper stain. And if it feels too drying, just add a little bit of lip balm on top. So once you've got your plummy eyes and lips on, then you need to stop and really step back and take a good look in the mirror. You First thing you'll notice is that you look really drained, so you will need blush. The second thing is that if you haven't concealed properly, now it's going to really show. For example, underneath your eyes, if you're kind of bluey or purpley underneath your eyes, now it's going to show 10 times more. So you may need to go back in and just conceal any of the bluey purpleness or darkness around your eyes. Secondly, if you have any spots that um, you haven't concealed properly that are sort of purpley or red, now you're going to really be able to see them. You're going to be highlighted by this makeup. So it's worth going back in with a little pinpoint brush and just concealing all of those little spots um, and just making sure that with these colours you have a really nice even 
base because otherwise um, it, it's just going to ruin the whole look. So on to blush and because I've gone quite bluey plum with my colours which I think work well on fair skins, the darker your skin the more rich ready plums you can take. Um, but I'm actually not going to do a very bluey um, pink blusher. I'm going to go for more of a warm pink and I'm going to use Orgasm by NARS just because I think I need a touch of warmth now and also having a little bit of shimmer in the blush will help to keep the whole thing fresh um, and it's just not going to get too heavy. It's just going to give it a sort of pretty glow to my skin. So that's the finished look and I think my top tips would be for using dark plums and aubergines. Firstly make sure you've concealed properly because any purpley under eye shadows you have or spots or red spots or marks are really going to show once the makeup's on. So you can leave it till the end but just make sure you go back and really do a very good concealing job so you have that really flawless um, base on which to put the dark colours. Secondly if you're using very dark colours use something light so in this in this case I've used the metallic eye pencil which really just gives that sort of injection of lightness to the dark eye area same with the blusher having one with a little bit of shimmer in and one that's a little bit of warmth in this has like a golden shimmer in again will just lift that darkness and also help it to look really fresh and modern um, look for long lasting formulations um, you can see the eyeshadow that I've used the base is still I'm going to have a hard job to get that off so that is going to last all day and likewise the pencil which is really kind of patted in it's, I've created a really good stain there on my lips so that isn't going anywhere either and um, yeah I think just have fun with the colours I think it's a really really chic look and I hope you like it